A Mayfair man accused of having weapons of mass destruction after authorities say he was busted making explosives. Investigators say if the materials combusted, it could have leveled an entire block of homes. Tonight, our Steve Keeley talked with the suspect's mother, who was living in the home as well, and who says this was all just her son's hobby. This was a huge danger to the community. A row home possessed explosive that could have leveled a block. I hear it's beeping. I'm like, what is that beeping? I'm looking around. Next time I come out and I see all the smoke coming from the downstairs. Like thick black smoke. Christina Smith among the terrified nearby neighbors of this Montague Street row house in Mayfair, where they saw all the smoke Friday night and found out today why it was so wise they were all evacuated. A house with what Philadelphia police sources tell me with close to 100 pounds of volatile explosives. How volatile, I asked at a news conference today? Extremely, Steve. You would have lost the entire block at a minimum. Hearing that back on that Montague Street block tonight. It's crazy. It's really crazy. It's just unimaginable. Philadelphia and federal law enforcement were already familiar with Evgeny Sandrislamov, who turns 28 on Saturday, seen here in his latest police booking photo. That's because he was arrested and charged with making explosives in Philadelphia before just four years ago. Sources close to the case directed us to some of his social media, where the man's sources describe as a Russian immigrant proudly posted some of his explosives expertise. There's a difference in what he possessed in 2020 and what was discovered this weekend. Yes. Your son's good. Good. He, very, he, good. very good. Tonight, the mother at the house told me her son was not planning or trying to hurt anyone, but said he made fireworks only as a hobby. 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 So he was yes. making these bombs as a hobby. hobby. Only hobby. This time he's been charged with some serious felonies, weapons of mass destruction, arson, and causing a catastrophe. For that, his bail is now set at $950,000. And neighbors here on this block on Montague Street, still too scared to appear on camera, hope he won't be coming back for a while. Did you know you were living next door to that? Yep. So you should be careful who you live next door to. It's crazy, ain't it? In Mayfair, Steve Keeley, Fox 29 News.